welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a spring cleaning video. It's going to be a combination of things that I have been wanting to get done for months now and I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting off. I was like, okay, today we are going to get some serious cleaning done. So I have like a general idea of things that I want to get done, but knowing myself, I always get distracted and sidetracked and I'm gonna probably end up doing more than what I originally decided to take on. First thing that I wanna do is wash the curtains in the kids' room, which includes Fletcher's, Aria, and Nolan's room because they have like these sheer white curtains and they get really really dirty I actually I washed all of our sheer white curtains from downstairs I've already washed those a while ago but they tend to get somewhat dirty you know the kids are putting their hands on them they are white so I am going to take all of those down to wash I got to wipe down all of the cabinets in the kitchen because I don't even know when the last time I've done that and they're pretty dirty from food and fingerprints and God knows what else. There's just a lot of little different things that I need to do that I have not done in a while and I need to do some desperate spring cleaning. And speaking of spring cleaning, we also have to spring clean our lives, whether that's ourselves, our relationships, whatever it may be. Spring cleaning doesn't pertain to just a house. So when Frank and I have been thinking of different ideas that we can do at home to spend more time together and also spend more time with the kids this year. One of the things that we like to do is we'd like to do date nights at home, but recently, Velotrick reached out to us, so thank you so much to Velotrick for sponsoring today's video, and wanted to send some of their e-bikes for us to try out, and we are like, uh, yes, because we've been wanting to get bikes together, to go on bike rides, we go on walks together, so it's like another way, again, for us to spring clean our relationship and be able to spend more time together. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of an unboxing and trying out those, which I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys, we love them. If you've been looking or are looking for an e-bike, I cannot recommend them enough because their bikes are amazing. So we'll get into that in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking down the curtains and getting ready to wash those. How excited are you for your first e-bike? I'm actually very excited because like we've already opened up one of them. Cool. And I already <laughs> kind of like have a good expectation. And yeah. I've kind of ridden yours a few times and I yeah. absolutely love it. So I'm like so excited to get this open. I want to take a quick second and talk about the Velo Trick box in itself because it is completely recyclable and the way that they package it is like only thing you have to do is open the box and pull everything right out and not to mention that there's like no styrofoam or anything in this so literally very sustainable yes yeah, so you just take it right out and it's got pretty much everything is right there ready for it to be put out you can put your owner's manual out or your like instructions manual you guys, I'm so excited. So let me introduce you guys to my bike, which first of all, if you just talked about how beautiful this teal or turquoise color is. And I also kind of forgot what color like we picked out for this one. And I think it's like a gray, but we're gonna see. I think you got this. Pretty straightforward. They pretty much put everything in your books and they say it's so easy that you could do it all by yourself. Anybody can, Anybody can do Anybody it all by themselves. It. Slide it all the way down. There you go. Put your screw back in there. Look at that. You've almost put your first bike together. drive 
mine. So now that we got his all put together, it's time for you to test out yours. You gotta catch up to mine, because I already have three miles on mine. One of the main reasons why Frank and I got the bike, there's many other reasons, but one of the reasons is we wanted to be able to spend more time together and go on bike rides together. So that's what we're about to go do now. He tried out his bike earlier, but now we're gonna try out our bikes together now. You ready? You ready, ready to go? Yes. quick what I'm looking at. So right here, I guess it's like the same thing as your odometer. You're gonna see how many miles you're going, how many miles you have gone, and you guys can see I am on assist three right now. There's four different assist modes. So we have zero, one, two, and three. And then this is also how you turn on your bike if you are doing it in the assist modes. And then we have my little bell over there. And then here's to change the different speeds. And then we have the go. <laughs> and the brakes of course so we're about to go on a trail right here behind our house and have some fun i love it it's so nice a lot of fun we that had was absolutely so much a blast. fun and we did the pedal mode just by ourselves too i feel like i got a little bit of a workout oh no i that. did because i think i went 25 down the hill and like 22 <laughs> back up it just to catch up it was so much fun though but we're gonna keep you guys updated on the bikes as we're like learning more about them we absolutely love them so far. trying them out so far we love it it was so easy to put together i even put frank's you pretty much together by myself we'll keep you guys up to and share different things that we get into because, in our adventures because we may or may not have went off-roading we did go a little off-roading it was fun so we have some more ideas that we're going to do on some future adventures so yes. we'll keep you guys updated you can see what i'm talking about right here i don't know what this is it could be a number of things so yeah definitely want to try to get that out I just got done washing some of the bathroom rugs. It's not part of spring cleaning because I feel like I do this weekly at this point. But I'm gonna go ahead and take those out because how I usually wash these curtains, Frank, by the way, is putting some stuff up in the attic. So how I wash these is I just first, of course, put them into the washer and I do add some detergent. So let me go ahead and do that. I probably need two of them. Two of those. Since these are white curtains, I am gonna add some bleach in here just to brighten them up a little bit. And then what I do, since we have a Brilliant Whites setting on our washer, I'll go ahead and set it to that and then let it do its thing. So the curtains just got done washing. So now I am going to take them out and instead of putting them in the dryer, I am going to just set it on our railing over here and just let them air dry.
as I was cleaning the cabinets, I got a little sidetracked and noticed that Fletcher's high chair, well, he had just had his snack time. You guys can see by all the snacks on the floor. Um, but I noticed I got to looking at his high chair and I was like, this is pretty disgusting. There's like caked on juices and liquids. I honestly can't tell you what was on it, but you guys can see by looking at this. We love this high chair. It's a Nuna high chair, but it's not the easiest to clean. We loved our baby Bajorn one because of how easy it was to clean. You could take the high chair part, like the tray part off and wash it if you wanted to. This one, you can't do that. It's a little bit harder to clean. So I made sure to give it a good wipe down with disinfecting wipes. of spring cleaning. I say day two because I did not get very far with day one. One or two problems. I first started out really, really late in the day. So by the time it was afternoon and it was super nice outside, Frank and I took the kids. We played out in the water table, the sprinklers. I got sidetracked from all of my cleaning. So I was only able to get a handful of things done, but it's better than nothing and now we have day two to finish our cleaning so I'm actually in Fletcher's room I have two things I have to put up the curtains if you guys remember I washed his curtains I we've already put it up in Aria and Nolan's room so the last thing is left is Fletcher's his is a little bit trickier because it's the little um, rings I don't know how to explain it for you guys will see what I'm talking about I had to do that and clean his chair so for the most part it's not too bad we just have a few random dirt spots I'm not really sure that's the downside of having lighter furniture is that you see everything so you guys can even see right here since there's so many different spots I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the whole thing um, I'm probably gonna spray it with a little bit of Folex and then I have Old Faithful back here to help me. I have the hose attachment that I'm gonna hook up to her. You guys know in my house, looks can be deceiving. So it could look clean right now, but let's see how dirty it really is. can be deceiving. It was definitely a lot dirtier than what I thought it was going to be, but you guys can see, Old Faithful always, she's always got her back. jacket on because it's freezing in this house. Frank and I always go back and forth about the air conditioner because I'm so cold natured. 
Wiggles has to go bye-bye. So part of my spring cleaning that I wanted to get done was taking all the pillow cushions off. That's the great thing about having these cushions is because I can just take it off. Not only change them every season, but I can also take them off to wash them as well. Now I have washed regular pillows. Like I think that uh, like pinkish orange one is a regular one, um, which I probably will not wash it because I have messed up so many pillows that way. So I think I'm gonna just leave that one be, but I'm gonna take the rest of the other ones off so I can wash them because they currently have little fingerprints of food and some stains and dog fur all over them. So I wanna go ahead and wash those. Another thing that I realized that desperately needs to be cleaned is our front door. There is like dirt, mud smeared all over it and I don't even know when's the last time we've cleaned the glass. You can see on this side that there's some finger, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but there's definitely little fingerprints and smudges all over the window and you guys can see too. If you look just really close up, you can see there's just smudges and dirt all over it. So. I'm going to probably use the magic eraser because I literally use that on everything and like wiping it down with some all-purpose cleaner. You can see all the little dirt smudges on here too. And this will come right up with just a magic eraser, just a gentle wipe down. The next thing that is on my to-do list is cleaning this entryway runner rug that we have in our, I don't know, would you call this a foyer? So we've already cleaned this one other time and I was amazed with how dirty it was because it honestly doesn't look that bad. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me differently in the comments down below. Um, but I just noticed that it is super, super dirty. I can just see how dirty it is from the kids tracking in. But I will say something about this rug does do very well with all the traction. It's not as noticeable to me, at least. Um, but I just know right now it definitely needs a good cleaning. You can definitely see. So again, looks can be deceiving. So we're going to Put old faithful to the test but as you guys can see it doesn't look that bad i just know with how busy and how in and out we've been lately this is dirty it's definitely definitely dirty
told you guys, looks can definitely be deceiving. <laughs> that is so gross, oh my gosh. It's almost like a dark brown black. the cushions took way longer than I expected. I was struggling a little bit. I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but now I'm gonna try to clean the rug in the living room. This is probably the last thing I'm gonna do for the spring clean video, so I might do this in two parts. I'm not sure yet, but I wanna clean this because I have not cleaned it since we got it, I don't know, months ago, whenever we did the fireplace makeover. That's the first time we put it down. And this is another area that gets a lot of traction in the house as well. So we're gonna see if it's even dirty or not. Cause like I said, with this pattern and color, you can't really tell. The only thing I'm a little nervous about is how thin it is. I probably won't use much solution on it just because I'm worried about like soaking it too much and leaking underneath here on the hardwood floor. So I might just do a little bit, a thin layer and then call it a day. I noticed while I was cleaning that it looks like some coffee got spilled right here. Fletcher wants to help me so bad. Um, some coffee got spilled right here, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Folex, and while I have it out, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this out. Hopefully it didn't stain too bad. actually very shocked about this because you guys could see the rug it did not look that dirty but what have we learned today but it was definitely definitely dirty I think this is worse than the entryway rug all right guys so I totally forgot to make an outro for this video I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and also to remind you guys to check out Velotric if you are looking for an e-bike they actually have a special discount going on right now to get $400 off when you check out and get one of their e-bikes thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys